So here we go. Caffeine is a, mo is a molecule and it looks just like the adenosine molecule, which is, a, which is a natural molecule that our brain makes as we function as, and as we work throughout the day. Now here's the thing. As we build up adenosine, then that's our brain's way of saying, okay, we've been working a lot, now we're getting tired. So it's kind of, we can think about the adenosine molecule as the sleepy molecule. It's kind of oversimplified, but we'll start there. How caffeine works is it looks just like the adenosine molecule, at least pretty close. And so what it does is it comes in and blocks the adenosine receptors, so those kind of tired receptors, and when it's blocking those, then our brain doesn't realize that we're getting tired. So as it processes and as we keep on working, then it's like, oh great, we can go forever because the because caffeine is blocking that molecule, boosting our dopamine, making us able to focus and concentrate better, making us more motivated, all these great things until, well, of course, the caffeine wears off, we have a caffeine crash, right? That's because all the adenosine didn't go away in our brain, our brain was still producing it, we just didn't recognize it. So the adenosine has been building up and up and up and up, and now, when the caffeine goes away, then the adenosine floods to those, to those receptors, creating a caffeine, that caffeine crash, that exhaustion that just hits like a train. So that's a little bit about that. If you wanna know about what caffeine withdrawal is and why it happens and why it's so painful, leave a comment and I'll make a video on that or anything else, let me know.